It's Christmas Eve and we're gonna talk leaks with the buddies. Christmas Eve and we're gonna talk leaks. Block on deck. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Contents Leak Speak, a very Christmassy episode. Hi, my name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And we have a lot to dive through. There is a leak to break down that talks about the final three characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that is contradicting a little bit of yesterday's information. Of course, we do daily videos on this channel, so please hit the subscribe button. We hear that not all of the people that check out blocked content on the daily are subscribed, so if you want to make sure that you watch every single video, you get all the information right there in YouTube, please hit subscribe right now. It really helps out the channel. Yes, it's going to be a fun time today because not only are we celebrating Christmas and the holidays and everyone is in good spirits, we also are going to look back on the year, we're going to discuss this leak that has a lot of information in it, and what I think is generally just very fun about this whole situation is we have a lot more to finally talk about, right? Now with Sephiroth being in the game, we now know that the rules are even crazier than we once thought, right? This is a character that is a third-party inclusion, but is also not a hero of that franchise, is definitely a villain, and it's not even from a different Final Fantasy game. It's from the same game Cloud is from. So all in all, it is a very turbulent and strange time in Super Smash Bros. history, of course with everything going on in the world, but also generally because Gino just got deconfirmed through the Sakurai presentation that talked about Sephiroth, and yeah, of course, there was it, the Mi costume for Gino. So a lot of people were very sad about that, but know that there might be something going on in the future, right? There is still a possibility for that character to pop up anywhere in the future, so let's hope for that, and I just generally generally want to talk about this leak and also share a look back on the year in terms of leaks, right? So that is the Christmas special for you guys. So of course I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in your next Question Blocked episode. So let's discuss the information of today because it talks about a whole lot of fun stuff, even E3 reveals up until next year. So isn't that crazy? It has the picture of Super Smash Bros. 64, so that commercial that we all know, so happy together, right? And it says, something gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. So just fan art, it looks really cool, and I miss that style. But the post says, new Smash leak info. The first post says, the last three DLC fighters of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Fighters Pass Volume 2. The first one that he shares is fighter number 9, which is Linkle from Hyrule Warriors, The Legend of Zelda, right? Revealed in a Nintendo Direct on March 2021, which is, well, reportedly quite late for me for the next reveal, right? And then fighter number 10, which is going to make a lot of you guys very happy. We've waited for this. It's Crash Bandicoot from the Crash series. No Coco mentioned here, which is interesting. And it's revealed in E3 2021. And a lot of people in the comments were already going crazy. E3, you know, things are not happening in the world right now. Why would you even mention E3? And then we go on to the final one shared here by this leaker, supposed leaker. This is still a rumor, guys. And he says, fighter number 11, which will be Porky from the Earthbound franchise, which will be revealed in a Nintendo Direct in September 2021. And this final piece of information makes it a little bit sadder and a little bitter. It ends with saying, no Geno and no Fighters Pass Volume 3 for Super Smash Bros. So I really wanted to take the time and kind of dive into this because there's so much to talk about generally, but the bad news first, they share that at the end here, which is no Geno and no Fighters Pass Volume 3. Well, there's info that I really want to share with you guys. Like, my idea of Geno not being included here, it probably has to do with Square Enix, right? They really don't see any use for that character right now because there's no game to actively promote that character. But with Sephiroth, of course, it's Final Fantasy Remake. And then, of course, the remake number two, right? I mean, the sequel is coming. So that would make a lot more sense. 
And the sad part about this is that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is probably the only time in our lives that something like this is going to happen, right? The roster is so huge, so expansive, and it's never going to happen quite like this, again, unless they just keep building on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but even in those terms, you don't even have the rights for a lot of those characters from multiple entries in the series, so yeah, it's looking like this is just the ultimate game in the series with all of this DLC and the third-party characters and the huge reveals and Ridley and King K. Rool and all of that stuff, which is a little bit sad for Gino, right? He missed the boat on the biggest celebration of gaming, and now if there is a next Smash game that will hopefully kind of shake things up a little bit and be different in a lot of core mechanical ways, because of course, are you going to make a Smash game with less characters and have it just be the same thing, right? I don't think that they will. Um, yeah, Gino not being here is a little bit sad, but the idea of future Smash Brothers games and Gino being a part of that would be very enticing for fans. So I think that that is something we can look forward to as Geno fans. Of course, I myself, I'm not the biggest Geno fan. I played a little bit of Mario RPG and I really like it. But Geno as a whole, I think is a character that people just project their own ideas and feelings onto. And it's maybe even a little bit like a Boba Fett situation. If you think about Boba Fett from Star Wars, he's just a Mandalorian character, supposedly, and he just shows up, like, in the final movie of that original trilogy, and not really does anything, and, you know, gets his behind handed to him and you know people are just writing these stories about this awesome character just because he looks cool and kind of have this idea in their head of what the character would you know move like and fight like i think with gino it's sort of similar i mean you have a lot to work with with gino how he appears in super mario rpg and a lot of those moves can translate but yeah i think a lot of people have this like project m idea in their mind and i'm generally curious what sakurai will be doing when that character actually comes to smash and i don't think it's going to be ultimate it's not going to be a bait and switch and I think that if this leak if anything it correctly predicts that there is no Gino right I mean that just makes sense they are not going to show a me costume and then later reveal oh no it's a character like he's totally coming that's just not gonna happen now, Fighters Pass Volume 3 is what a lot of you guys are being sending my way. You know, all these comments about, are we getting another Fighters Pass after this? Is this going to be it? I personally think that we might get one more character after this Fighters Pass, like a bonus thing or a thank you. But generally, my thoughts are, this Fighters Pass is the final chance for characters to get into Smash Ultimate, right? These final three characters are going to be something very special. Of course, with Min Min, we have a first First party character with Steve we have a huge third party character from another company right from a you know rival to Nintendo and then we have Sephiroth which is a general like third party character but then a villain from that franchise so thinking about that the door is wide open for anyone and everyone within Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I am generally just really curious what you guys think of this leak, all the news of today, and just generally share your Christmas spirit down in the comments because, you know, not everyone is having a huge celebration this year due to everything going on in the world. So we should share the love. We should share the Christmas spirit in our comments section, right? That is why blocked content is also here to make your day a little more bright. So of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of all this today and if you comment down below that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video and today's comment question is of course what do you think of this specific situation right let me know in the comments down below and as for a previous comment question winner our answer comes to us from our user Adrian H saying all I know for certain is that we can't predict who will be added next from the very beginning of Ultimate, we've seen and heard many leaks that seem convincing, but either fall short of complete accuracy or are completely wrong. From the Grinch leaks to newcomers no one saw coming like King K. Rool, Banjo, Joker, Min Min, and Sephiroth, to name a few. On top of that, these false leaks tend to all chant the same few names, so they all seem like wish lists rather than leaks. I don't know. All these leaks tend to fall flat in some way. We've never got a good grasp on predicting these newcomers, and to be honest, I don't think we ever will. Whoever gets added though, I'm sure Sakurai will give us an awesome new DLC fighter. So Adrian, thank you so much for your super sweet comment. I totally agree. Leave it in the hands of Sakurai. All we can do is talk and speculate about what we hope, and that's where our journey essentially ends. The rest is up to Team Sakurai and Nintendo themselves. So thank you guys so much for sending in all your comments. These are always a ton of 
of fun to read through. And of course, a huge shout out to our Patreon supporters. With this year ending, it's been so crazy and that some of you guys actually support this channel. I mean, it means the world to me. So if you want to donate something too and help out, please go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting for you. And remember, if you are not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner with as always more blocked content. Merry Christmas. Thank you.